Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I certainly appreciate you spending your time checking this beer out. And today's beer comes from Perrin Brewery. This is their No Rules. And what it is is a Vietnamese, uh, according to the label here, Imperial Portal aged in oak bourbon barrels, Vietnamese porter. And guys, uh, I was lucky enough to uh, have uh, several different variations of this over the last couple of years. Uh, and for information, Beer Advocate has got it listed. Evidently, they've been, done this, they've been doing this since 2015. 2015, this one, the bowling ball. Anybody that's ever seen uh, The Big Lebowski, uh, that movie, uh, knows uh, this is basically a picture of John Goodman here. If you haven't seen that movie, you need to check it out. When I first reviewed this beer, I had not seen that movie, so I went and watched it, and it's a pretty damn awesome movie. It's uh, very nice. I'd like to see them do a, a sequel or or, uh, or something else in, in with those guys. Uh, it was a pretty entertaining film. It sure was. But most everything with John Goodman in it is pretty entertaining. So uh, uh, the 2015 had a green bowling ball the 2016 had a purple bowling ball the 2017 had an orange bowling ball and the 2018 has a silver bowling ball on the label here so from what i'm seeing they've done it four different years now this is the, the latest one the 2018 edition and i've done the 2017 and the 2016 or the 2015 i can't remember which two earlier ones I, I didn't go back and look and see what color the bowling ball was on it but i've had it twice before and guys, I thought it was the best Imperial Porter that I have ever tasted. So I'm hoping this is going to be just as tasty. Lindsay at Pairing Brewery contacted me and wanted to know if I was interested in, in getting a couple bottles of this. And I said, absolutely. So she sent me two bottles. And the downfall to that, when I got them, one of them had been leaking. It hadn't leaked out a bunch, but it was just a little bit in the box. And this is the one that had been leaking because the beer is down to here. And the other one is up to here. So I don't think the other one leaked, but this one leaked a little bit. So I'm hoping it's still under carbonation. It's going to be tasty. Uh, I've got the other one in the closet in there. I'm not going to keep it for a long time because it is a coffee porter. And I don't want that coffee to fade too much. But I figured I would re, uh, review this one since it had leaked a little bit. And I'm going to keep that one probably for a month or two and enjoy it uh, with the other half. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna get any of this one. I'm gonna, I might drink it all. Might be a pig on this one. Uh, Cause this was pretty damn impressive the last time. Well, actually the last two times I've had it. And I would buy a case of this if I could get it. So uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be just as tasty and it's gonna blow my hair back on my socks off as well as it did the last time that I had it. So, Lindsay, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate you uh, reaching out to me and sending me a couple bottles of this. I can't thank you enough. So, if you're in the vicinity up there where they are brewing this beer at Perrin Brewing Company in Michigan, uh, if you like a, a very, and this is a big beer, guys. It's a 15 percenter. Whoa! That is a huge porter. That is probably the biggest porter that I can think of. I can't think of a whole lot. Of, now, I've had stouts that are bigger than this, but usually porters, they were originally designed to be a lower ABV dark beer that the dock workers back in the 1700s or so uh, could have with their, uh, their meal, uh, whether it was lunch or dinner, depending on the ship they were working, and go back to work. 
because the water wasn't too good uh, back then. And uh, uh, the beers uh, had been boiled and, and the impurities had been taken out or, or uh, was easier to drink. And these were usually uh, like a 3 or 4% back then. But now the Americans have got a hold of this style and, and, and they just go off the chain sometimes. Um, like I said, this is a 15% imperial porter. So uh, it was not designed to be that big of a magnitude beard back then. But that was several hundred years ago, and, and you know how we are. We want bigger, more, better, you know, off the chain. Let's brew a 50%. So, uh, but I was very, very, very impressed with the, the last two offerings I've had. And I do appreciate Lindsay reaching out to me and sending me a couple bottles. So let's get on with this one here, guys. Uh, the commercial description, let's jump over. It says, no rules. We follow throughout the creation of this product. This gigantic 15% Imperial Porter is deceptively smooth and subtly sweet with layers of flavor that never seem to end. Some say it tastes like Mounds Candy Bar that has been dipped over and over again in rich chocolate and soaked in bourbon. Other people find flavors of coconut, cinnamon, toffee, vanilla, and coffee, and they would else be correct, also be correct, this beer is special, and there's a reason why it is named as the top beer in the world. No doubt. It blew me away, guys. I, when I, I didn't go back and look, but from what I remember, I thought it was the best Imperial Porter that I had ever tasted. And I've tasted quite a few beers in my lifetime. And especially since I've been doing beer reviews. We're well over 3,000. So, uh, it was very damn impressive, and I am so hoping this is going to be just as tasty. So, let's get on with this. Uh, this is the 2018 edition, like I said. 56 IBUs on the 2018 edition, according to Untapped, at 15%. So, uh, and it says here on Beer Advocate, I am going to read this. 15% Imperial Porter was made with coconut and turbinado sugar, then laid down in Asian bourbon barrels for several months. With a classic film reference weaved into the label art, we hope you enjoy this product as much as we did making it. A generous donation will be made to the Raider Project for each bottle sold, and thank them for what they do for our Marine veterans. Yes! So, uh, not only are they producing an outstanding world-class beer, they are donating some of the proceeds to a damn worthy cause. Uh, so, uh, if I could get this beer here, I would buy it by the case, guys. Trust me on that. So I'm hoping this is going to be just as impressive as the ones I've had before. So let's get on with it. I don't want this to be a 30-minute video because the last one I did was very, very, very long. So I don't want this to happen on this one. Uh, but I do appreciate Lindsay reaching out to me and sending me these bottles. So it's time. Final beer of the evening for me, guys. And like I said, I hope this thing still has some carbonation because it has leaked a little bit. Oh, yes. Nice hiss. So, uh, just got a little bit of seepage around the cap on this particular one. Not too bad. We can deal with that. Yeah. All right. While I pour this, guys, I will tell you the cuisine is barbecue cheese with buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, general chocolate, dessert, meat beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat, glass water, pint, back or not, tumbler mug, sign or side bell. I got my favorite tulip glass. And this says not recommended for sending the salarines, and that may be because of the coffee. But it has been in bourbon barrels for a while, so I don't know how long they left it in there. It says several months. Is that two? Is that six? Is that eight? I don't know how long it's been in the barrels. So uh, let's dive in and see what we got. Didn't pour very much of a head with that aggressive pour. And to the light, uh, not a whole lot. It looks a lot like a stout, guys. And they can call it whatever they want to. They can call this a stout if they wanted to. Especially at 15% and as dark as it is. But they're calling it Imperial Porter. That's their prerogative. To the nose we go. Oh, man. Right off the bat, rich roasted malt, coconut, chocolate, caramel, toffee, black molasses. Hence of some dark fruits or some dark cherries in there. Oh, wow. Oh, what an aroma. And I am giving some slight hints of the bourbon. 
Outstanding aroma. Freaking outstanding. Oh, it's time. I'm about to drool on myself. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Lindsay, and everybody up at Pear and Brewing. What a fine, exquisite, outstanding beer you're producing here. Oh, my God. That's sex in the glass, guys. That's orgasm in the glass. Coconut, bourbon, chocolate, caramel, toffee, molasses, dark cherries, figs, dates, raisins, plums. What stands out most is the bourbon and the coconut and the chocolate. I can see why people refer to this as a mounds bar. This is a mounds bar that's been dipped in bourbon. Incredibly easy to drink for a 15%. It is so smooth. This will get you in trouble One of these One glass of this is probably enough to give a DUI in this state not much less the, the whole bottle. This is a 22 ouncer Unbelievable And I stick by what I said earlier uh, This is the best porter I've ever tasted in my life they have definitely got this figured out. It is outstanding. And I know where this is going to end up, guys. 2018 is just as good as the 2017. And as good as the 2016. As good as the 2015. And the chocolate is more of a milk chocolate than a bittersweet chocolate. So smooth, so easy drinking. This is a beer for the gods. This is liquid gold. Unbelievable. Like I said, I would buy this by the case if I could get my hands on it. Absolutely freaking outstanding, guys. Well, I'm going to sip on this for a little bit, but I already know where it's going to end up. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. I've been sitting on about 45 minutes or so. Absolutely out freaking standing, guys. Uh, to me, this is the best Imperial Porter on the freaking planet. Uh, I would buy this by the case. If somebody's up in uh, Michigan and can get their hands on multiple bottles of this, Contact me. I will buy one case, two cases, and make it worth your while. Uh, I was sent two bottles of this by Lindsay up at Parrot. I think this is the best porter produced. Bottom line. Period. End of conversation. Uh, this is absolutely outstanding, guys. The bourbon is there. The coconut is there. The rich roasted malt is there. The caramel, the toppy, the dark fruit licorice black molasses this has got so much going on with it and it's 15 percent drinks like a seven or eight percenter guys uh i've never tasted anything to this magnitude in an imperial porter it blows me away every time that i get my lips around uh this version or this series that no rules vietnamese porter from Perrin brewing Absolutely, and, and Lindsay, once again, thanks a bunch for contacting me and sending me a couple of bottles of this. I would, if I was in Michigan, yeah, I would, I would have a reserved parking place in your parking lot because I'd be there buying all of this that I could get my hands on. And like I said, if, if you got anybody out there that can get their hands on cases of this, contact me because I will make it worth your while. This is absolutely it's not world class. It's not outstanding. It's galaxy class. Uh, this is a 12 in a scale of 10, guys, in my opinion. I am blown away every time I get my hands on a version of this. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Like I said earlier, sex in a glass, orgasm in a glass. I mean, unfreaking believable. Final cut. And I did not share. I, I let her have a sip or two out of it, but I poured the whole damn thing in my glass. 
I was a pig on this one. I was a pig, and I will admit it. I was a pig on this, and I drank just about 99% of it. It was freaking awesome, and I enjoyed every damn drop of it. <laughs> Final chug. Wow. Best porter on the planet as far as I'm concerned, guys. Absolutely outstanding. It's a 12 and a 10 scale. It's 150 and 100 scale. Unfreaking believable. If you can get your hands on this and you like an Imperial Porter, especially a bourbon barrel version of it, you need to pick this up. If you don't like it, send me what you bought and I'll and I'll take it off your hands. Trust me. I would take at least one case, if not multiple cases of this. And I hate to be a beggar, but I wish this was available in my area because I would buy everything I could get my hands on. So, awesome guys. It is absolutely outstanding. It is world class. It is a galaxy class. It is awesome. It is a 12 and a 10 scale. So let's run over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.49. Almost the best number I've seen from those guys. Outstanding, and it is. And over to Untap, they have it at 4.54, almost the best numbers I've ever seen from those guys. Definitely outstanding world-class beer. Uh, if you see this and you have not tried it, and you like this style of beer, I mean, if you should drink Budweiser Miller Coors, this is going to blow your silly little head off your damn shoulders. But if you're used to drinking uh, bourbon barrel aged porter or stout, I got a feeling you'd be very impressed with this, and and I am. I am very impressed with this. So, Lindsay, once again, thank you so much for sending the two bottles that you sent me. Uh, and I would take as much as I can get my hands on. Uh, if y'all at liberty to send me any more, I will pay for it. Trust me, I will pay dearly for this beer. It is a very, very tasty beer. Like I said, the best porter I've ever tasted. So, whoever the head brewery is there at Perrin, you got to figure it out on this one, my friend. Very, very tasty, guys. So if you've had the 2018 edition of No Rules Vietnamese Porter from Perrin Brewing, let me know what you think. Oh, my God, I was blown away. Sex in a glass. Blow my hair back. My socks off. Blow all my clothes off. All right, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.